Felix Hernandez has reported $175 million deal bodes well for Rio of candidates eyeing $200 million. The $200 million pitcher is coming. Soon. The only question is whether it will be Justin Verlander, Clayton Kershaw or David Price. Baseball will cross the threshold because the Seattle Mariners on Thursday set a new standard. They had options. They had choices. They had two full years left on Felix Hernandez's contract. Which means they could have kept him for both seasons. Or held him until a desperate team forked over a cache of prospects in July 2014. Or rode another year and bubbled over the hot stove with him. Or flipped him for a bounty at this year's deadline. All those choices, all those options, and they still felt compelled to give him $175 million, the biggest sum ever for a pitcher in a deal first reported by USA Today that will keep him as the jewel of the Pacific Northwest for another seven seasons. If Felix made it seven-eighths of the way to $200 million with next to no leverage, it's frightening to think what the supercharged money-making machine that is Major League Baseball will offer to any of the thankful three. Each has the pedigree necessary for bank-breaking deals. No. 1. A legitimate ace Verlander is the best pitcher in baseball. Kershaw is the best left-hander. Price beat Verlander for the American League C Young last season. Check, check, check. No. 2. A healthy arm while Steven Strasburg may well break this prerequisite. Teams don't want a lemon and thus won't consider for a mega deal any pitcher who has undergone arm surgery. None of the three has. No. 3. An arm that will stay healthy this is a tough one. Nobody knows how to keep arms healthy, so who is to say that any particular pitcher's arm will stay healthy? For this, teams look at a pitcher's body type, age, the wear and tear on his arm, and a string of beads because only the divine can keep a starter healthy throughout his career.